Hey everybody and welcome to the Dancing with the Stars pre-party on Dan Chunky's TV. I'm Stuart Brazel and as you can see, I'm joined today by fan favorite Tristan. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's the two of us today, we're keeping things intimate. I just got really lucky. It's my birthday, so this is my birthday present. He just doesn't know oh, it. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna talk all things Dancing with the Stars and Tristan. Of course, you can tweet us at Dance Junkies TV. Thank you for all of the fabulous questions that you sent in for him. We will be covering that stuff in our other video. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube. If you're watching this video, I think you should like it. Yeah. I love it. Just click it. So we're gonna <laughs> run through last week yes. quickly. Let's do it. And then of course, talk in depth about you and Gladys, not too scary. <laughs> Look at his face, he's like, what did I get myself into? It is what it is, I'm nothing to hide. What you want to know? I love it. All right, well, let's start out with Jaleel and Kim. Of course, it was Motown week. Yes. Now, yeah. what, did you, what are your thoughts on Jaleel and Kim? Um, I think it was great for him to have a comeback week. Um, I guess people have said that he kind of fell off for a couple of weeks, but um, I thought he'd done a great number. I thought he'd done a great number. He's, um, he's a good bloke. He's a good bloke, he's a, he's a good dancer, he's a good entertainer. Yeah. And I think I think that week specifically really suited him. Mm -hmm. So I thought, it was, I thought it was great to see him now come back. Yeah, Chilio, we love him. He's doing a great job. He of course has nice abs. You get comments about abs. There are a lot of comments about <laughs> yeah, you and, belly. and that you know <laughs> that you never take your shirt off. All yeah. of your fans are like, when is he gonna take a shirt off? Or do at least like a little bit of an open shirt. Well, I mean, do it now and again. There's enough people with their bleeding bodies out in the show, you know? <laughs> you see six abs or you can see one big abs. <laughs> That's what I have. Okay, so our next couple is, of course, now speaking of people that like to take their shirts off, it's <laughs> Melissa and Max. How's your time? <laughs> yeah, and Melissa, I thought Melissa was great. I thought she was super. She had a really strong dance. I know they were kind of waiting for a ballroom dance like that to come along, but... um. You can see her confidence really growing each week, and she is getting much, much better. Um, I really like Melissa. I have a lot of time for her, so. Um, and Max is great, of course, as well. You know what I mean? He does what he does the way it should be done. That's why people like having him around. I love it. He does what he does the way it should be done. Well, next, we're going to move on to Maria and Derek with the Foxtrot. Me and Derek, yeah, they've been really good as well. I feel like I'm just going to be saying everyone's great, but they, re hey, I mean, they really mean. are. They, um, Maria's had a lot to deal with, I guess, this season with a lot of injuries and stuff she's been picking up, so she's really um, soldier and true. And um, I didn't actually get to see this number because it came, I think it came straight you, after It was us. right after you and Gladys, yeah, yeah. It was right after us, so I didn't actually see the number, but um, they got good scores, didn't they? So it must have been decent enough. They did, but, they did um, get good scores. Yeah, I, th I think she's, I think she's great, she's got a great. She's got a great frame and stuff. Yeah. She's a beautiful looking girl. What do you think so, about, you know, a lot of complaints have been going through about the judging. A lot of people think they were really hard on you and Gladys. They're being very easy on William, hard on Melissa. Do you feel that at all? Um, I don't really pay too much attention to it, honestly. You know, it's... It is what it is. You know what I mean? It's no one likes um, to hear bad news. No one, no one likes to hear bad news. Me either. You know what I mean? And us as the partners, we take that... To a certain degree, we take it personally as well. You know what I mean. So it's, but it, it it is what it is. The judges are three audience members essentially as well, and they have to watch it. And if they enjoy it, they should be able to say yes, I enjoy it. If they don't like it, they should be able to say I don't like it either. Yeah. Once the points are justified. Yeah, I love your. I'm feeling like just such positivity over here. So our <laughs> next couple, I'm sure you're gonna love them too. Just kidding. So cat. Well, yes, you will. Catherine and Mark. Mark and Catherine. Yeah, super. Superb. Um, Katrin's great. Katrin's great. And, and I guess from one point of view, Katrin had a lot to kind of... The fact that she was European, no one really knew or feel much about her. Like, you know what I mean? She's really, she's really kind of made an impact. Yeah, she didn't do, you know, the UK version. She came and did she came the US, here, which is... Yeah. That, that takes some balls. I th yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think it was great. I think it was great to have her on. I was, uh, I was looking up to meet Katrin a couple of seasons ago on my first year when I danced with Peter. So Peter danced the catch when she sang on the show and uh, she was lovely then and she's lovely now. You know, she, but she's, she seems um, so sweet just like you. She really does and she's she's one of the most nervous people on the show when, when it comes to results shows and stuff, you know what I mean? The, I, like, she is oh. just like, 
And then when she's saved, she's like, what? I know. And it's, what? And like I said, it's it's genuine as well. You know, you look at some people and you go, you need to calm down with all that. It's a bit over the top. But it's actually very genuine with Catherine because she's just a really nice person. But, now, uh, a lot of fans were wanting to know, or they wanted to throw in a suggestion that you and Gladys and the two remaining pips should do something on the finale. Yes. Yes, we should. <laughs> Can you just be like in the... Yeah. <laughs> just doing something at <laughs> the back. But that, yeah. It'd be and great to see Gladys and... on the show. It'd be great to see Gladys on the show. I think everyone's been dying to see her perform on. Oh yes. Just and as much me as well. Yeah. You know what I mean, so I, I'd, I'd love to be watching her perform. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think now it's it's kind of the fact that Gavin's going to come on and sing now. I think it's great that they're it's open. The they're open to the fact that people will come back and sing on it as well. So yeah. hopefully she will before the end. Well, we hope to see it. Oh, sure. Now our next couple moving on, Cheryl and William. Cheryl and Billy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now a lot of people were very upset that Bruno gave him a ten. Even Lynn kind of stood up and was like, "But well, yeah. I think William's great, but Bruno has given him a lot of tens." He does give him a lot, of, but you know, but that goes back to what we were saying about yeah. the judges being audience members They're, as well. They like it, you know what I mean? And then either way, if, if there's a reaction. Yeah. People who like him go, yes, I can. He seems, like a, got a 10. he seems like a great guy. He's super. He's a really nice bloke. He's a, the two of us having a conversation is just ridiculous, though, because we can't understand each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then people stop to watch us talking to each other because it's just random. It's just noises. <laughs> but um, yeah, if, if people don't like him, well, then they'll, it makes them vote more for who they do like. You know what I mean? Yeah. If people do like him, they're delighted he gets 10. Now I really want to see a video of you two talking. <laughs> Just put up like some subtitles. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't like to stand close to him too much. He's bleeding huge. <laughs> he is. The size of his arm is like... I know. It only makes me look smaller again. <laughs> now, another talking about... We have to talk tattoos. So, right. what do we have and what does it mean? This is all um, Irish mythology. So, um, this is Gaelic writing, Irish writing. Says my family, my friends, my heart. This is Brian Baru. He was he's known as like the last high king of Ireland. He fought the Vikings. So this one's not finished yet. This oh really? Finished when we get home, yeah. So it's gonna go It's gonna come around and join into the rest of these. He's gonna have a sleeve. A sleeve. Yeah. Cover more up. This is the salmon of knowledge. This is an old Irish tale as well. This is the children of Lear. I love it. So it's all Oh yeah, and this is um, Kukulu. So they're all Irish. They're all Irish tales. And when did you start getting tattoos? When did you get your first one? Um, this was my first one. This was about geez, I don't even know, four, four years ago, maybe not too long ago. Got I one see. here. I'm got so one scared here, of well, so. pain. I hate needles. <laughs> I hate needles, but I like these. I like these stories and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, um, I guess it's a big debate at home as well. The whole culture, Irish culture, and stuff, and. The fact that it's fading away and stuff now, like you know what I mean? I just don't pe think people understand it enough, so I think it's something that they should be teaching more now. Mm -hmm. I like and that. I enjoy it, so it's more kind of for me. Cool. And if people like it, well, then they can look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and they do. Yeah. We'll talk more about all things Ireland in our next video, but let's move on to our next couple, which is very fittingly Gladys and Tristan. <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> Send them home. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I love this, what you guys did for Motown Week. Just having Gladys on Motown Week, you guys it's opening the show, it was just so special. It was, yeah, it was unreal. It was great. It was great to be part of it. And it was great to meet um, the Temptations as well. Oh, yeah. This, Otis here, Otis was, the, was one of the original members of the Temptations. That's great. It's so, crazy. Um, yeah, and this was called, this was like a Temptations costume, actually. You guys look so cute. I uh, love the glasses. And the glasses, glasses are from, gorgeous. yeah, glasses are from David Ruffin. David Ruffin was the lead singer of that song in the Temptations. And that was his kind of quirky look. A funny thing when I showed up in that, Catherine goes, you look exactly like uh, Austin Powers. I was like, that's not, that's not the look I was going for. Oh my God, but now that you say that. That's I it. do see Austin Powers. And then people been asking me all week why he was dressed like a geek and stuff. But that's, that's just part of the dance. But the I mean? true Motown peeps knew what you're doing. Well, they knew, yeah. That, I mean, that was that was part of the surprise as well. All Gladys' mates came in. Barry Gordy was there. That was one, there was one of the four tops there. One of the Supremes were there. It was unbelievable. So I thought she'd done great. Sorry, as part of the dancing, I thought she'd done great. Yeah. 
and we put a couple of Temptations moves into it. Loved it. And uh, she performed well. She was just she's just a joy to watch and to spend some time with, especially on that. She was so happy to be part of that night. So for me, I made it even more special. And our next couple is Chelsea and Roshan, who are in the dance duel with you guys. Yes, they got a good deal, didn't they? A little bit. I thought they were great. I thought they were great. They're they were hard great. on. Yeah, for Sean, for sure. Well, they are, but I mean, they're hard on them, but he still keeps performing as well. You know what I mean? And people enjoy watching it, so yeah, maybe the judges' comments aren't fair to him. But I, I thought he was superb. I thought the thing is, you can see that he's trying. You know, and when he gets his comments each week, they go right. Well, it looks like you're trying too hard and trying this, but it's better than trying too hard. Well, that's the thing. Don't you want to look like you're working? Then if you're like, ah, exactly. I don't care. And that's the thing. Like you know what I mean? If you only have this short amount of time, whether it is three or four days, five days, or whatever, it's good to see that you're working on something that they told you to work on. Whether you do it well enough or not enough, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I think it would have been worse for him to come out that week and go and go, oh, well, the same problem you had as last week is now. Yeah. I mean, at least if you go to the other spectrum, well, then you can take it back. At least you're doing something. At least you're learning, you're trying. And Donald and Peter are next. And Donald, really? I think Donald's great. I think, I think he's super. I think he's super. And he's just all around top bloke. He's a top bloke. And it's great to see Peter doing so well. Yeah. Um, I think at the, at the start of the season, I mean, it might be a bit unfair or whatever, but I was really hoping that if I didn't win it, that Peter or Val would win it. You know what I mean? Because there's something about it. We started together, innit? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's something there, like, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, and, and certainly with the way last season went for us all, you know what I mean? Because Peter's unbelievable and Val's unbelievable. And it was great to see the both of them pair with someone so good. Um, and Val's kind of, Max is dealing with the foot injury, so Val's kind of like ready to step in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And that would be a, it'd be great to see him dance again, you know what I mean? But, um, and it'd be great for Melissa as well. Good so, to um, take a break from Max. Yeah, <laughs> well, from both of them. I know! <laughs> She probably appreciate it more now. She's gonna be like, but, um, can I get Tristan and get away from the Schmerkowski's, please? But definitely with Donald, I think I think he keeps I think he keeps pulling stuff out of the bag. And That's you, great. when he gets out there, he is loving life. Oh, he does. It's yeah. like he does. <laughs> that was a great number, though. Yeah. Great number. And then of course we had the marathon. That must have been a challenge when you know. <laughs> the marathon was the marathon. Didn't expect to go at first. You know what I mean? But um, it was what it was. Stuff like that's difficult as well. I, but yeah. it's, I mean, you separate the floor into eight. I know from, from my point of view, if someone's dancing right here, I'm not gonna be like this looking over them. You know what I mean? That's just rude. <laughs> and you notice that all the people at the back went first. Yeah, well, it's, it's so. interesting because it's like some people are just doing like lift after lift and running and crawling on the floor. And then the people that were like, those people are actually dancing. <laughs> But that's the thing. That's, it's like, what do you? The thing is, I mean, they want to try new stuff, which is it's just fair. You need to try new stuff all the time, but you just need to. I don't know. There's, yeah. there's different ways. Do you make an impact because you have such a short amount of time, or do you stay true to what it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. or do you push that move? Mm -hmm. It's hard to know what to do. You know yeah. what I mean? But obviously, what we did wasn't right because <laughs> we went out first. I think you all guys. we did was both our moves. I think you guys were amazing, and everyone was just so thoroughly enjoyed watching you and I know we're going to get to see so pro dances are we going to see you coming up I hope what's, so what's going yeah, on yeah I hope so we've got one this week um we've got one this week with Karina on um I don't know what day it is so one of the days this week it'll I'll be, be Monday that. or Tuesday yeah it'll have to be one or the other and then uh, hopefully we'll fit another one in before the end of the season I'm not yeah. too sure but obviously we'll be back then with Gladys for the finale yeah there's not too much longer left. There's only four weeks. I know. So, so we're hopefully you get another tree or something. <laughs> and hopefully we see Peter and Donald do well. And everyone else. Stick, Stick with, with your crew. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Time. Well, thank you so much, everyone. We will be back yeah. the following week with Tristan's interview to answer the fan question. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank and you. we'll see you next time. Yeah. I say ridiculous things sometimes, though. It's just, I don't know why people like it. Oh, we were missing record. It's finally recording. <laughs>